Okay, y'all. Today we are going to be making one of my favorite dishes with some beef ramen noodles. I am just going to pour some vitamin D milk into my crock pot. I have five ramen noodle blocks right here, okay? So I just use a little bit of whole milk. Next thing you're gonna wanna do here, I'm gonna just place this around, okay? These are gonna start watering down real quick. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is we are going to pour five eggs into our crock pot with our ramen noodles and milk. Okay, and now I am going to take just a little bit of some chicken broth here. And we are just going to start to liquefy those noodles. So you're gonna pour about half of the broth. Just mixing it on up. Perfect. Now you don't wanna use too much because you do want your noodles to soak all right, next thing we're gonna do here is I am going to take some hot dogs. Okay, you're gonna take your wiener like this and then you're just gonna snip little bits and pieces of your wiener into your ramen. All right. I'm just gonna take three wieners here so we can speed this process up. All right, this just helps to give those noodles a nice flavor. Who doesn't love, and y'all, this is so quick, it's so easy. Tell me in the comments below if you love hot dogs as much as I do. Oh, I just think these are so delicious, kids love them. They just always add that perfect extra flavor to your dish, especially in the crock pot, y'all. Okay, so what the wieners are gonna do, they're gonna add some protein into our dish. And like I said, they're just gonna really kick up that flavor. Next thing that I'm gonna do is add some frozen peas and carrots. Okay. Now this is going to add some nutrients into our dish and give it another extra pop of flavor and color. Okay, I'm just gonna break that up a little bit here into this crock pot. Perfect. All right, next thing is I'm gonna take half a stick of butter and you just plop that on in, just like so. Then we're gonna take a little bit of my favorite, some garlic. Oh boy, okay. All right, I'm just gonna take a little knife here and we're just gonna drizzle some garlic right on into there. In my opinion, you can never have too much garlic. Okay, next thing. We are going to take our beef packets. Now also, you can use chicken ramen if you like chicken better, but I really, my kids love the beef, especially with the, the hot dogs, so I'm gonna use beef today. All right, so now I'm just gonna use my flavor packets here. We're just gonna drop that seasoning right on in. Okay, here we go. And now I don't like too much sodium. I like to keep it healthy. So I only use three packets for every four blocks of ramen, all right? And now I got my crock pot on high. It's gonna start boiling here pretty soon. Next thing I'm gonna do is take some Tabasco sauce. We're gonna give these noodles a nice little kick, okay? So we are just gonna drizzle that sauce right on over our butter, our noodles, our hot diggity dogs. Mmm. Talk about heaven, y'all. Oh my word, okay. We're almost done here. All right, last thing, I'm gonna take up just a little bit of sea salt. And we're just gonna give those noodles a pop. I'm gonna take a little bit of black pepper. And then I'm going to take some powdered garlic on top of my other garlic, just cause like I said, you can never have too much. Ooh, oh my goodness, this is already smelling so delicious, y'all. 
Okay, all right. Now what we're gonna do is to top this off, we're gonna come back to our chicken broth and now you're gonna add the rest of it right on into your dish, okay? Just let all that chicken broth soak up. Mmm. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Okay, and that's it, y'all. So now I'm just gonna put my lid on and we're gonna let this sit for about two hours. Hey, y'all. Look at how delicious this looks. Oh my word, I'm so excited. So I'm just going to take my tongs here and we're just gonna mix this up a little bit to really get those juices flowing. Mm. Oh my goodness, look at this. Okay. And now I'm gonna go ahead actually, okay? I'm gonna take my bowl here and I'm just going to grab some noodles and drop those noodles right in my bowl. Okay, I'm gonna make sure to grab a couple pieces of my hot dog. Oh my goodness, yes. Get some peas and carrots over here. Okay, and then what I like to do is just take a spoon here and I'm gonna get down into those juices. Look at how nice that broth looks, y'all. And I'm just gonna pour a little bit over the top. Okay, just a little bit more because I love this nice juice. Yes. And that is it, y'all. We have delicious ramen noodles ready for the whole family. Look at how much this is here and ready for dinner. Okay, so it's still real hot right now. So usually I'll let this cool down for a minute, but I'm just so excited. So I'm going to take a bite for you right now. Oh my goodness, yes. This is so delicious. You gotta try this, y'all.